Welcome to Uncut Angling and welcome to Clear Lake, Manitoba. This is the Riding Mountain National Park. There are two national parks here in Manitoba. This one and then one way up north called Wapusk National Park, which is like a polar bear denning area. Probably pretty spectacular. Someday I'll go there, but today, Riding Mountain National Park. This video is presented by Travel Manitoba, and I am in the western region of Manitoba, right on the edge of the parkland region. The boundary kind of runs along the north side of Clear Lake. I have been on this lake once before, probably more than 10 years ago, ice fishing. But now is the first time I've been here in a boat, and I'm looking for pike. Being that this is a national park, there are some special regulations here. You gotta get your boat inspected for invasive species. They're trying to really keep the park and this amazing lake pristine. Also, there's special fishing regulations. You're not allowed to use any lead fishing tackle under, I think it's two ounces, so you could use a downrigger ball or something, but you can't use any jigs or split shots or anything like that made out of lead. So, my Alumacraft Competitor 205, it's got crazy storage with the way it's laid out, and typically every compartment is brimming over with multi-species tackle, but today I've taken everything out. So I forced myself into a special ops situation here. All I've got is some treble hooks and swivels and split rings and stuff like that. So I could make a lure out of a rock or something. Make a lure out of a rock? Or maybe I've got something in one of these boxes. Oh! I am so behind with opening so much mail beyond this even, and so many emails, so many bills, text messages. I apologize if you've been neglected. Chad sent me this the day I left Washington in May. It's some stuff I forgot at his house and maybe some bonus goodies. I'm not sure. He sent it straight to Sturgeon Bay, Sand Bay Beach Resort, because that's where I went from Washington. Oh, I knew this was in here. It's my lucky Alumacraft visor. Summer's almost over, but I need this to keep my hair bleached. How good does that look? What else we got here? Good luck, bud, it says, because I was headed to a fishing tournament. I didn't have it then, but I can use the good luck today, I think. Good luck tick from Rufus. You've got to be kidding me. Rufus is Chad's dog. You probably saw him in that video. And there's an actual wood tick that Rufus stuck in here. Really great. Some FXR underwear that I've been without all summer because I left that at Chad's. <gasps> And that is a Yormer Yager rookie card with the same jersey it looks like that I wore in that Palouse Falls video. Okay, thank you, Chad. Thank you, Rufus. Next up, this is from Shimano. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this, Tranks 401. And the beauty of this reel is it's like a hybrid between a low profile with the way it fits in your hand, but it's got the power that a bigger reel will have is the low gear ratio model, because I don't really need high speed for pike fishing. This is gonna be absolutely sweet. These are the new Compre musky rods, and that is just gonna be a sick little outfit. Mm. I'm using 80 pound test, which you definitely don't have to for pike, but my lure is gonna be quite heavy, and I really, really don't wanna lose today's lure. She's full. So it seems similar to a Curado in a lot of ways with how sweet it fits into your hand like a low profile reel, but it's got the giant oversized gears that are offset sitting on the side of the reel here. So it doesn't make it big and lumpy like a typical round reel that's somewhat uncomfortable to fish with all day. I still do not have anything to tie onto here for a lure, but I've got one more box to open. This better be filled with something that a trophy Clear Lake Pike would want to put in its mouth. It's a black box. Does it say what it is on that side? YouTube! Never read the instructions. Some foam. Oh, ta-da! Silver play button for reaching 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. This is all because of you. Well, not completely. I mean, I I'm the one that made all the videos, but seriously guys, thank you so much for hooking this up, making this possible, watching the videos, sharing the videos, sending the love. I also wanna send a big thanks to all the partners of Uncut Angling. Alumacraft Boats has been here from the start. Uh, Yamaha Outboards, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, FXR Outdoor, and of course, Travel Manitoba for making so many amazing things happen for Uncut Angling, 39 hours and other stuff over the past couple years. Um, who else do I want to thank? Jay Siemens, obviously. 
If you guys haven't already, go subscribe to Jay's YouTube channel. He puts up more videos than Uncut Angling does, and a lot of them do have fishing in it, and he's fished with some really cool people, some past stars of Uncut Angling. I know he did a video with Levi Christensen from iFish Pro Tip Ups, and he shot a video with Jeff Gustafson. He also shot a full video series with Brandon Palinuk, who is a elite series angler. Also, in the description will be links to anybody else who has been making videos that's been a part of Uncut Angling. You guys remember Clayton Schick? He's got a channel called Clayton Schick Outdoors. He's been putting some awesome videos up on. And the Fishing Geeks, also known as the Conrads, also known as the winners of 39 Hours. And now, We've opened all these boxes. We still don't have a fishing lure to use. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hello? And we're just gonna... Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Thought that'd be glass. Ouch. That did not break. Definitely pictured that being a lot cooler and more dramatic. I gotta get in here somehow. a wounded bait fish. It's actually thinner than I thought it would be, which is good because as you know, we gotta drill holes in this thing. I mean, why else would I be packing? You know? Why else would I be wearing a concealed drill? Boom! You see how fast I am with this thing? Okay, everybody needs to calm down. <laughs> but seriously, how quick am I with that thing? put one hole at this end to attach the leader to, and put two at this end, and put a treble hook on each one of those. Ta-da! Look at this. It says, made in the USA. No disrespect to that, but I think we can all agree I've done a little bit more to this than the original production did, so. I'm still right in front of the boat launch. I got up early this morning too, like probably 8.30, 9 o'clock. And now it's already 2.30. So, I mean, you wonder why I never post any videos. I wonder what just happened to the last six hours. This buoy is literally the boundary of where you're even allowed to fish here because we're just off the boat launch. I marked some scabby weeds. So we're going to take our first cast right off the boat launch before we venture out onto Clear Lake. First cast with the new tranks. First cast with the new compre rod it is time to put that youtube play button into play it's like casting a dinner plate right now it's just as far as we want to cast it so from what i've seen this isn't super nice cabbage i'm not like settling in on a spot by any means especially before i've seen much of the lake i'm gonna move around pretty quick because for all i know there's scabby weed like this everywhere but i would tend to think there's not a lot of it just because I think there's a lot of sand bottom. I think it's kind of a clear, boring lake. And I hope to be proved wrong. I can see that line of weeds there. So I'm just staying off it and casting to it. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! You see this? <laughs> it's real, folks. That took like maybe 10 minutes at the most. And we got ourselves a clear lake pike on the YouTube play button. Now, we're looking for a mass wrangler pike. 41 inches is the award size here in Manitoba. And that's what we're doing now. Is it possible that this thing is actually a good lure? Or is it possible the fishing's just that good here? Like, I have no idea how Clear Lake fishing is. There's a lot of activity here. You know, you've got a town site, like, Right there, literally, there's a town site with all sorts of resorts and shops. It's a really popular destination for family camping and whatnot, but I don't know how much fishing goes on here. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. It might be a bigger fish. It's staying down. Oh my goodness. It's gotta be a bigger fish. No, he's just hooked funny. It's just hooked funny, but pike number two on the YouTube play button. Hooked in the side of the face, kinda. Are you kidding me? Let's get this guy back in the water. 
Well, I'm pretty happy with getting a couple bites here, but I am anxious to fish the rest of the lake. So I will log this in my memory book and we'll be back later in the day if we don't find anything better. So there is a rough depth map for this lake. And you can also get the same feel of this just by looking at satellite imagery on Google Earth or whatever. And what you see is that the east end is really deep. It's got depths of over 100 feet. And then the west and north end is shallow sand flats. You can see the bottom everywhere over there. And hopefully on the edge, just like we found that scabby weed on this edge, hopefully we can find some more expansive cabbage or other submergent weeds, which is where you're gonna find big pike in the late summer and throughout the fall. So right here, that's definitely weed growth. 20 feet of water, it's only coming up probably three or four feet, so not ideal, but it is a start. If you look over on the side imaging, right there, that's a clump of weeds. Over here on this side of the boat, that's a clump of weeds. I'm scanning 105 feet to either side. So this, no weeds. Right there, small clump of weeds. Bigger clump of weeds right there. This is what weeds look like on down imaging. You can see each individual strand there. Not great, but who knows? We're gonna see what we can find. I think what we ideally want is weeds coming up higher in the water in 10 to 15 feet. So we'll see if we can find that. Here's a thicker patch. I'm gonna drop some waypoints on that. I'm gonna put the AquaView down. I wanna see what kind of weeds it is and if it's green and whatnot. So let's see what we got here. Looks like maybe coontail, which is good. That's coontail. Oh yeah. Oh, there was uh, cabbage mixed in there. Oh my goodness. Coontail and cabbage mixed together in deep water is probably the best combination that there is. So we are gonna fish this right now. I like it. Look at this. <laughs> Look what we brought up. Green cabbage. 41 inch, that's what we're doing. 41 inch. I only made a couple waypoints, so this is a big mysterious area still. What's in my favor is how clear the water is because these fish will be able to see this bait from so far away. So I've got the trolling motor on like seven right now, which is pretty fast. And I'm just gonna keep zooming along, try and cover water out here. Oh, fish. Oh, fish on, come on, come on. I can't tell if it's big because this spoon weighs so much. Could be big. Could be big. Could be big. Feels heavy. Feels heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It feels heavy. It's staying down. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a big fish. You gotta be kidding me. It's a big, big fish. Oh, please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Ooh, ooh, come on. Oh my goodness, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! We just started out here. Like, I can't believe what just happened. Okay, come on. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Yeah! Look at this! YouTube play button! Big Clear Lake Manitoba Pike. Drop that out. Oh my goodness, this could be 40. Oh my goodness. It is 40 and a quarter. We gotta get this guy back. Okay, okay. 40 and a quarter. Back in the water. <sighs> Come on, girl. There she goes. Oh. We're not leaving until we get a 41. Oh my goodness. I, oh my goodness. This thing is freaking heavy. I bet you this weighs half a pound or so. I'm fishing in 15 plus feet and it gets down into the bottom half really quickly. And then I can retrieve it in that bottom half of the water column. Gotta get down there. Sweet, 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 sweet. So here's the backstory that I didn't mention as I was measuring that fish. My dad and his buddies were just up at Moak Lodge on Cedar Lake. My dad's biggest was 40 and a half. 
So I told him I was going for a 41, and he asked me why I was going to Clear Lake. And I, you know, it's Canada's 150th birthday, and this is a Canada National Park. And I've never been here in the boat before, so I want to do something new. But obviously going north in Manitoba, whether it's flying or drive to, has just so many incredible trophy pike options. That being said, this lake right here is no slouch either, as demonstrated by that 40 and a quarter. Not quite 40 and a half, Dad. But the day is not over. Boat side! Ho ho! Was that ever cool? Whoa! Fish tried to take it out of the air. Are you kidding me? Another one came jumping out of the water. And I'm gonna catch them both side. This is just like a figure eight basically. You can jig your bait right beside the boat. Oh yeah, boat side. It's pretty cool. Cause even though they look like they take off at a million miles an hour, they're nearby and they'll come back and eat it. Can't complain about that. Catching pike. Ever seen that before? Oh, big fish! Gotta be a big fish! Gotta be a big fish! He's all over the surface out there. Oh boy! Gotta be a big fish! It is so heavy! Oh, it's so heavy! Stay hooked! Stay hooked! No! 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 I still got it! He's swimming towards me! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Please stay hooked! Please stay hooked! Please stay hooked! It's gotta be big! Oh, please stay hooked! Please stay hooked! Please stay hooked! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Is he big? He's not bad! Wow, he felt so much bigger! He is big, but he felt even bigger, and he's done. Oh, whew. very tough to say. It could be 41. It could be. Are you ready for this? Ah, he's hooked funny. Okay, he's big. Look at this. Potentially 41, potentially 42. Sorry, Dad, I think I got you here. Let's find out. Lips touching, oh my goodness. Maybe 42 and a half. Let's get him back in the water. Oh yeah! Manitoba Master Angler, 42 and a half inch pike. Look at that beautiful pike. It's tough in these waves. Just trying to hold her upright here because she's got air in her belly. So if I just let her go, she'll roll over and be bobbing in the waves here. So I'm just gonna hold her for a second and she should get her strength back. She's still in great shape. Oh, there she goes, kicked. Oh yeah! Let's just include a picture of my dad's 40 and a half inch pike that he caught last weekend. Celebrate it for a moment. But I beat it. Let's put the pieces back together again. Or let's put Humpty Dumpty's pieces back together again. There it is. A little modified, only for the better. Thank you guys for making this possible. I know sometimes, well all of the time actually, I do a really bad job of staying in touch with comments on social media and stuff. It's not for lack of caring, I just, I can get pretty detached in general. So thank you for making this possible. Come check out Manitoba's Pike Fishing. It is incredible to say the least, as you saw today. Come check out Clear Lake. There's all sorts of stuff to do in that town. There's all sorts of stuff to do throughout the rest of the Riding Mountain Park. I will be back. Bye for now. Manitoba, Canada's heart beats. Hello. Are you thinking that I'm wearing a, that I'm concealing a, You can have a bigger gap if I keep that up. Go subscribe to Jay Seaman's channel. There'll be links and it'll be in the description along with all the other homies that have been involved with Uncut Angling in the past. Mm -hmm.